not fair. Oh, hey, boys. <laughs> what I learned down there? Welcome back to the vlog, guys. It's been a few days. I took a couple days off. I was so sleep deprived. I needed rest. And then I went 24 hours with no caffeine. No, thanks. I choose life. I don't think it was as brutal as it would have been if I wasn't chugging all of this water. And you know it's gotten bad when but I realized like I wasn't drinking like the full can and I would like put it in the fridge but then it wouldn't be carbonated the next day. So I was like, hmm, how can I like preserve whatever the word is? How can I save it for like the next day without it going flat? And it looks like pee, but I ended up putting it in a water bottle and it's good until the next day. And I think this will last me another day and a half because I already had my four ounces for today. I'm really trying to cut it down to like two ounces. So just a couple sips because I would still like to wake up in the morning and have my like daily carbonated like oomph for the day. You know it's bad when I have to save the rest of my can. Red Bull is like, it's not that expensive when you get it in bulk, but it's too expensive when I'm only drinking half of the whole entire case. So this is what we're doing now. Kaylee called me and it's like the first time I FaceTimed her. It's actually the first time I FaceTimed her since I've been back into Arizona. And she asked me if I wanted to go pick up her new guitar with her and I was like are you kidding me um stop it yeah she told me that she ordered a guitar a few weeks ago and it had to be special order because she's left-handed she's she's actually right-handed but she's left-handed when she plays the guitar i guess anyways she had to order it it's at the guitar center so we're gonna go pick it up and then we're gonna go into hobby lobby and then what was the other thing oh i needed to drop off my drop off a hard drive but i'm not able to do that until monday because it's the weekend what else were we going to do Oh yeah. I knew I wasn't gonna have any food yesterday when I woke up this morning. And so I got a burger for me this morning. However, it's already one o'clock in, in the afternoon. And I know that this is not gonna be as good as it would have been if I would have eaten it fresh. But I'm starving. This does not sound appealing right now, but I'm starving. We're gonna let that heat up. It's a hundred degrees. That's why I'm dressed like this. I feel it. I feel almost half nude. That's how I feel. You would have never caught me like this in Oregon. Let me tell you that. Well, maybe. <laughs> now that I'm thinking about it, maybe. But it's less likely. Let's just say that it's less likely. Also, look it. I still have yet to unpack. When I tell you I've had no time to catch up on just house. I swear when I left my apartment, it was spotless. It was super clean and then I got home and then it's just a disaster. I flung everything everywhere and nothing has a spot anymore and I'm getting really irritated with myself because I have no excuse as to why it just can't stay clean. I feel like I'm constantly cleaning no matter what video it is. I'm always cleaning in some type of video and I'm getting irritated. Bon appetit. I told myself today was going to be the day that I cleaned, but then I ended up catching myself editing that wedding. Also, I wanted to mention, um, I went and celebrated Artemis's birthday with him a couple days ago. And we just went out to the bars, have a couple drinks, and it was super fun. It was super fun. I'm going to insert that somewhere in this video so you guys can go see. Whoa. <clears throat> I'll actually insert that clip here and then we'll get on to today. Okay, so we're gonna have our hamburger and we're gonna get a water, which is actually in the car. It's probably warm, but at least it's room temp. I love you. <laughs> Down this alley. Really? And I'm like, where's Artemis trying to celebrate his birthday? <laughs> This is so good. I feel like this one's yours because it says like watermelon. Uh, oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, for a bro. That's a better shot. <laughs> really, really good. Like, really, really good. Asking for help, but I'm fully capable. Kill one. Oh, no, that was not fair. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, oh my God, oh, good this. Job. No way. Go oh. Oh. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> let's not. <laughs> as soon as you switch sides, you, you suddenly make. No way. How is that cold? Okay. I thought I was gonna get misty. 
see, but I'm not. <laughs> <You're hammering. laughs> yeah. They have, uh, they have alcoholic drinks in there too. They I wonder. I wonder if it's like that. Um, what is what is that meme where it's like, can I get a can I can I get a Baja Blast? <laughs> <I'm> talking about <laughs> an alcoholic Baja, Baja Blast. Blast. Hold on, hold on. You're good. See my banana? Yeah. Wait, hold on. Let's just throw all this in the back. There's a track right there. You want me to throw some of this out? Yeah, I guess I could. Put yeah, it in. Ew! Don't touch the banana. Hi. Oh my gosh. Sorry. I knew that was gonna happen. I was like, as soon as I start organizing under here, she's gonna walk in. <laughs> I'm waiting for the hug. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh. Wow! Dandy dandy. Can you like read the comments when people are like- Wait, yeah. She's showing me her garden. I don't know what she's saying. Wait, I'm confused. <laughs> what are we doing? <laughs> Hi. 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 Come on in. <laughs> or come on out. Wait. <laughs> Do you like my shoes? <laughs> oh my gosh. What are those? What I wanted to show you that was new were my cucumber plants back there. I'm actually talking to you, by the way. You, we were still on folk. <gasps> oh. oh, yeah. Start over. <laughs> Hi, Vo. Wow. So what do we got here? We've got the 2023 Summer Garden Tour Apartment Edition. <laughs> so the structure here, the top half is from Amazon. First we have my lavender plant over here, which is supposed to be attracting the pollinators, but they're a little late. So <laughs> <laughs> this is my tomato plant, which by the way, was here before I started it. Wow. Yep, exactly. So now- Do you have any secrets for the, for the audience? Oh, I don't. I like my life, so I don't know if I should share my secrets. But another thing is if you see these cute little white things, those are not seashells, those are eggshells because they're really rich in calcium. I don't think anybody would have guessed that those are seashells, Kaylee. Oh, well. <laughs> these are the marigold flowers. I originally had some planted back here and in the front. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they didn't sprout. Well, okay. They didn't bloom. Don't sprout. No, not from seed. Yeah. Not these, from seed. Not from seed. These, oh, seed. <laughs> <laughs> With you guys, I planted these this morning too. They also. What time? Um, <laughs> probably like 10:32 a.m. Got it? Yeah. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> got the top of my list. <laughs> okay. Are you bullet pointing or like just numbering? Okay, cool. So I have my uh, cucumber plants back here. Um, these are burp less hybrid. Okay. Burp is with a U. I would assume. <laughs> burp with a U. Okay, so we have butter bush tomatoes, red sweet bell peppers. Look at my bell pepper. Looking. <laughs> Marigold flowers back here to attract the pollinators. The pollinators? Yeah, like the bees. So it's like a little serviceman. <laughs> Ooh, that's how I get that. <laughs> I do a, I do a, over here guys. <laughs> Zucchini here soon, or this plant is dead. Possible death in the family. Exactly. <laughs> One of two. And then my jalapeno plant and my peas. Is the jalapeno on a stick? Jalapeno <laughs> on a stick. <laughs> this is my strawberry plant. Look, it's got its first little strawberry. Oh, that's so cute. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it sounded like Eeyore. Yeah. Mint. <laughs> okay, you want to grab me those pods over there? <laughs> Rosemary. Okay. <laughs> How are we supposed to start a band if you can't even keep track? <laughs> okay, this is why we can start a band. So, we will have two guitars and an accordion. I forgot, I forgot I had that. this. Jake Paul and Logan Paul are brothers. <laughs> really? I don't watch they either look, of them. They look so similar. Which is though. why I was always confused. I was like, I thought he did a podcast. And then he'd wrestle and I'd be like, 
<laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. So he's a podcaster and a wrestler? Okay. There's Hobby Lobby. That one's cool. I just need two hands. That's my next, that's my next hit. Wait. Instead of us going to Hobby Lobby like I thought we were going to, we decided it was, your suggestion, by the it way. was my suggestion to go to Ikea. But one of these days we're going to have to go to Hobby Lobby because I think you actually might like it more than Ikea. What? Okay, I feel like We were only like 20 feet away too and she's like, well, I don't want to go to both. So because I'm like... She's always on a time crunch, that's why. Yep, I need to get out of the road. <laughs> we just separated! But there's really no reason for us to be going into Ikea other than she wants to give me a couple flowers and I need a vase for it. I need a vase for these flowers. Oh my gosh, she's such a slow poke. She wants to give me a couple flowers and I need like vases and pots for them. I really hope I don't find anything that way I don't have to spend any money. Would I put them? I have nothing on my walls. I'm like, where am I gonna put them? She looks like you. I, I'm sorry, I can't. <laughs> wait, wait. I choose you. <gasps> if I don't get a rose, I'm gonna burn this house down. <laughs> wait, where did you get this rose? My heart. <laughs> there was this person driving next to us and you can sometimes tell when people are Russian <laughs> their ethnicity or whatever and I'm like wow he was definitely Russian and Kaylee goes Russian for what? <laughs> <laughs> no he's Russian <laughs> oh my goodness And I forgot my camera. Yesterday, I hung out with Kaylee, had Artemis' birthday, went to church on Sunday, and then went shopping a little. I just got a couple dress, well, I got a few dresses because it's been like 100 degrees for the past three days. I just, I just need to talk out loud, and I've been starving myself. <laughs> And there's really no reason for it except for the fact that I can't cook. I've eaten all the pasta that Kaylee made me for when I came back from Oregon. And so I don't know how to cook. All my food was ended up going bad in the past. In the, I went to Costco and I came back and my bread was moldy. And so I was really irritated about that. And so I just haven't went grocery shopping since. For one, I've just been like super sleep deprived and then kind of been isolating myself. Not on purpose or for like any reason i just have noticed like i've 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 not been as active on social media and i'm trying to cut back on caffeine and i know i only drink about like 
I know I only drink about four ounces a day, but I've really been trying to cut back to like three to two ounces. That way I can like slowly get off caffeine. I don't think I'll ever be able to like get rid of caffeine because I love the carbonation in the morning. Anywho, don't know how to cook and it's super annoying because I, it's not that I just don't know how to cook. It's also I don't want to take the time to learn how to cook. And all that I enjoy eating is like pasta, pizza and fruit, easy stuff. I, I love cereal and I love PB&J. Seriously, only been like two or three days. I've only eaten once a day and everything that I've ate, oh, except yesterday. I've been getting Sonic because where I lived back home, I think we had Sonic, but I don't know where it was. But I know for a fact I never went to Sonic when we were homeless. For the past few days, let me just get to the point. For the past few days, I've been getting Sonic. Every time I eat out, I feel guilty about it. No, I don't feel guilty. I just feel like I'm not supposed to be getting fat food because I should be getting groceries and learning how to cook but I don't know how to cook like this is such this was just a treat I got a cookie dough I don't know what this is it's like a blast and it's so good but a part of me feels like you shouldn't be eating this also, I did not get my period last month. It's now May. Today's May 1st. And I didn't get my period in April. Weird. Maybe this is the issue. I don't know what the issue is. But I got mozzarella sticks, corn dogs. I bought a hamburger for later. But I just feel like I shouldn't be getting it because I should be learning how to cook. So much pressure living in an apartment that I never, ever thought I would experience like I've lived in an apartment before and I lived there for like four years and I've obviously never had these issues <laughs> before because I had never experienced homelessness I feel like every month I go through something new I don't know what the feeling is it's just more so being mad at myself at the fact that I don't know how to cook nobody taught me how to cook growing up I think it's safe to say, because I feel like you guys already know, but I have had struggles with food all growing up, and you can call it whatever you want. You can call it an eating disorder, you can call it an eating problem, an e eating issue, whatever, but I've always just starved myself. This is so hard to admit, this is so hard to admit, but I think living in my car, it was easier to eat because I knew I had so many options of going through drive throughs already having food made for me. Granted. I was sick and tired of McDonald's. I was sick and tired of Taco Bell. I was sick and tired of Arby's. I cannot tell you how sick and tired I was of fast food. I can admit and be honest that I definitely ate more being homeless than I eat now living in my apartment. I'm tired of also buying food and then not eating it fast enough. <laughs> I don't mean to come on here and cry and complain in every single vlog. I don't mean to. This is just like my therapy. You guys are my friends and this is my therapy. TikTok was definitely an era of what it was and now YouTube is definitely a new season in my life where I just talk and vent and cry to the camera and upload it for you guys to see. I don't expect anybody to understand where I'm coming from but at the same time, it's like people think now that I'm in an apartment, my life is so much easier. Like, yeah, I'm beyond the moon to have somewhere to sleep and shower and use the restroom and have a kitchen and go to the bathroom. Like, that is priceless. Like, that, like, that is priceless. It, I, it, it's not explainable. It's not explainable unless you've been in it yourself. It's not explainable. And also, I see all these other people on TikTok, other people counting their days being homeless living in their car and some people will use some of the same songs that i use and i'm like hmm. is this how people felt when they watched my videos like well was it that hard was it that heartbreaking to watch my videos and then i see other people like doing things different than i did and i'm like wow i wish i would have done that Wow, I wish I would have thought of that. Or wow, she edited that better than I did. But just like also watching other people's journey, it's just... I have the same questions that you guys had with me. Like, how did you get there? Do you have family? Do you have friends? Do you have anyone to talk to? Like, what do you do on nights that you can't go to sleep and you want to talk to somebody? Do you have someone to talk to? Oh, my thing is melting. I need to eat it. So yeah, that's my little spiel. Is it spiel or spiel? That's my little spiel. That's my little spiel. Whatever. For today, May 1st. Jeez. May.
I actually just realized what today was. Wow. Wow. Even though you might not remember certain things, your body subconsciously remembers. Okay, I'm gonna finish this up and have the rest of the day to myself. 